Well, Florida now has the second highest foreclosure rate in the country. It is a bleak outlook for tens of thousands of homeowners, but for many more, the foreclosures can mean opportunities if you're careful. Throughout this month, we're going to be looking at real estate issues that affect our area. In tonight's installment of Real Estate Reality, CBS 12's Lindsay Cohen shows us some of the red flags to watch out for. It is another day in the office for West Palm Beach's Alan Murphy. The longtime local businessman was looking for a way to finally put his hard-earned money to work for him. Since I am starting out as an investor, that I wanted to, to buy a property where it would cash flow right off the bat. He saw that cash flow in this townhome located in the villages of West Palm Beach. The home was in foreclosure, and the bank accepted Murphy's bargain basement offer of $75,000. The deal was all but done until the bank returned with this contract. With a closer look, there was a 10-page document added on, and the bank would only give Murphy about a month to sign off on the deal. And you're using your hard-earned money that you saved. You don't have the ability to, to deal with uh, the problems that may arise. There are some inherent risks in going forward and the bank is just not giving you enough time. And our Boca Raton attorney, Ron Lewis, who says this type of contract now popular on bank-owned foreclosures should raise some serious red flags. Whether you are looking for an investment or finally seeing a price on a home you can now afford. You need to have enough time to do your homework and don't be penny wise and pound foolish. An eager buyer or a first-time investor could easily get wrapped up in the allure of a premium property at a paltry price without taking the time to do the homework. Important inspections like checking for anything from leaky pipes to structural damage. And worst of all, in the fine print, there could even be liens that become your responsibility. You're buying the property in its as-is condition. You take it and that's it. Back at his Clematis Street store, Murphy is hard at work. He walked away from the investment property after learning the lessons in the fine print. But there's always another deal around the corner. Well, we want to emphasize that not all bank-owned foreclosure deals end up this way. And when in doubt, it is always best to ask the advice of the experts. Lindsay Cohen, CBS 12 News.